What's up everybody, it's your boy CrazeMains98, aka Nicholas Morales, founder of the Brothers of Oblivion Game Community, and welcome back with part 2 of the character tutorials for Overwatch. This is a video just teaching you how to play the tanks and the supports of the characters. Right here we're going to start off with, uh, with my actual main for a tank, which will be D.Va. Now D.Va is a character who is within a mech. And within this mech, what she can do is when you hold the primary button, is constantly shoot a spray of, you know, one two shots, one two shotgun shots, with uh, causing a lot of damage to many different people. She could also dash in front of people to actually, you know, get away in a certain area. She could also dash in the air and fly up to like a higher place if you want to get away from like big areas where they're trying to take you out at. Now with her, she does have a shield. This stops things such as rockets, you know, shuriken from Genji, uh, like, you know, actual projectiles, um, like such as, you know, how would I say, you know, as I said, rockets from, from, ugh. Uh, sorry, not that good. Rockets from Farah. She can go ahead and stop shards from May. But the only thing that can actually stop this is actually a beam from Zarya. Uh, swipes from Reinhardt's actual hammer. Uh, May's freeze attack. And even, like, I believe, um, also. No, uh, no, no. I think that's really all. I think that's really all. But I think she could also still be hooked by um, Roadhog, not 100% on that one. For instance, if you are a person who is playing a diva and you got knocked off the, um, the actual shelf, you can actually use the dash to actually get yourself back in, which is technically her rockets. Now, here's one thing that is cool about diva. There are two instances about diva. Right here, you have diva's mech, which is her 600. Now, with her ultimate, with her mech, you can dash in, press triangle, and actually toss out the mech, which actually leaves D.Va out of the mech to do damage with a pistol. Now, the thing about this is that D.Va is actually more weak without the mech, so you want to be able to go with her mech. But as a character outside the mech, she could do a nice amount of damage to any character. So like for instance, her ultimate outside the mech is that she gets back into the mech. Now you don't have to dash with her ultimate. What you can basically do is just stay in the area and then just press triangle to even just like jump out of the mech and then have the ultimate stay in one place. But if you're trying to do something like you know take out a whole team and they're, they're like, you know, doing a lot of damage. You want to dash in and then literally throw the mech at them. But it is possible to actually, you know, not get killed by the actual mech. Which is actually from characters like, you know, Symmetra, um, Reinhardt, uh, Zarya. Uh, there is a capability of even using Arisa's um, actual shield. But, and also the fact of Zenyatta actually, I believe, being able to do his ultimate for her. With a D.Va, if you want to try to take out a D.Va, the best thing to aim for is the cockpit, which is actually where she's at, which does a lot more damage to the mech itself. But, but that is also where the shield is mostly at, so be careful when she has her shield. Next character is Orisa, which is the actually the most new character at the moment so she is technically a tank support or tank control character what she does is literally use a machine type gun which does a significant amount of damage but she also deploys a shield that has 900 health not as strong as reinhardt but does do its job it does maintain its job does keep people safe she also does have an ability where she actually shoots a green orb and if it hits a certain amount of character it can bring the characters together making them easier to be targets. Now with her character she could be able to be stunned, she could be able to be hacked 
or she could be able to be um, frozen in order to stop like a stun or frozen because I don't think she can stop a hack you press L1 which goes ahead and clears you of each of the ailments that are caused by you know other characters like Mei like um like McCree with his stun like if for instance right there L1 reduce damage taken you cannot be stopped so that makes her somewhat of a tank it's like also a sense of oh you know what this is a Zarya type character and you go ahead and use like a shield now for her ultimate is actually pretty cool so it because it affects everybody when you press triangle she puts down a little prop or like a little drum that actually increases the actual damage output of each character to a certain amount but this drum can be destroyed so you want to protect the drum and it does have a short amount of time so with that Orisa is a very good actual tank she can be taken down and she is able to be destroyed a lot of people think just because she has this ability she cannot be destroyed but she can be destroyed she is just a very difficult tank to take out next tank will be Reinhardt himself just Reinhardt is a frontline type of character as you can see Reinhardt has his standard swings which could do a lot of damage especially to characters who are dps or support or even sometimes a control character because he does a lot with his swings now with his secondary he does have a shield which has 2000 health which he can move forward and backward and that's what makes him a frontline character because it literally takes all the damage that is thrown at the characters and you can literally you know protect your friends who are trying to shoot at them in the process now with R1 what he does is send a shock wave or like some type of wave of, da of power towards an enemy and actually does a specific amount of damage to specific characters but he also has a dash which literally can be controlled and if you're caught in it as a DPS or a support it's a literal one hit kill but if you're a tank, you can maintain the damage. Or, like, you know, if you're someone like a Risa, like, like Roadhog, you can maintain the damage. Or if you are a actual Reinhardt, what you can do is literally dash to a point where you can dash them into the wall or dash them off a cliff. Now, for his actual ult, it's actually pretty badass. What he does is, like, a type of stun. So, when you go up to a character and you press triangle you hammer down and then you hit them down for a certain amount of time and he does damage towards them so that's technically Reinhardt in an actual you know nutshell but as Reinhardt you want to be a frontline and if you're able to see like you know a cliff where is actually able to push off a character then that's a good idea next character would be Roadhog himself technically he has a one shot you know shotgun because it is a long spread shotgun area it does four shots but with that he does have an ability where he shoots all these characters or all these um, little bolts or screws in a one shot kill which is technically like a medium range spread you know, so literally if I wanted to hit within a headshot that's a headshot now what he can do is literally heal himself when he takes damage if you take damage you go to a safe spot or you hit, press R1 to heal and then you can maintain damage and gain that damage back now let's say you want to shoot somebody from close up all right press L1 use his hook and then use the actual shotgun shot towards that enemy what you want to do is literally hook them and then shoot them in the head to get a one shot kill now you can hook shot somebody from the air like a pharah or a hook shot somebody who is going very faster like even faster than rohawk so you have to be very good with the actual um hook itself like for instance let's say i jump to the side Boom. Headshot. 
but also keep an eye for the number of shots you have. Now, his ultimate is pretty dope, which is actually a machine gun shot, and then it does a lot of damage and even push the characters away. So, that's actually a pretty good thing to have. So, when you want to push people off the actual ledge, you can use that shot. Now, uh, that's Roadhog, and this is another main of mine, and Roadhog's is pretty explainable. What you want to do also is actually something pretty cool. Um, let's see if I'm able to do it. Let's say I'm going to jump off a cliff, right? I, I could bring the bot with me if I'm actually very lucky, but I wasn't lucky there. Now, here's Winston, in, who is a, another tank character, which in my opinion, honestly, is a very bad tank. Reason being is that Winston is a guy who does really not that much of a damage output to certain characters. The thing is with his gun is just that it is a wide area gun. So probably more than two or three people can be attacked with it. With his ability, you can also maintain a shield, which is a barrier. But the thing is with the barrier, it's on a time limit instead of instead of a HP um, listing like Reinhardt or Orisa. So it does kind of make it a little bit hard to play as him. So as a character, he does not do that much damage, but he is a close up and personal character. So he does push a lot. So with his character, you want to maintain an actual ability to push. Like for instance, if you're not getting close up and you want to be able to attack somebody, why don't you jump in with the Winston and then you can do damage to people and you can actually cause a lot of pain towards them. And it would actually do a lot more if you, if you do it. Now for his ultimate is actually pretty cool. He actually gets enraged and what he does is starts hitting people doing not that much damage but actually pushes them off to a certain area and, and just literally can push them off a point or literally can also push them off you know an escorted payload so that would that with him he's more of a control area character with him as a tank i would recommend to um you know to actual blizzard to actually do a damage input or a actual um Increase in his health. Now, for the tanks, we have Zarya. We have another main of mine, which is a character that does a laser based attack, a laser based cannon, which is actually pretty dope as well. Now, she is a character that can take out, you know, people who have like things such as, you know, shields like with Diva, who can also take out characters like, let's say. How, how would I say this? Like, let's say, like, someone like a, um, a Symmetra. Or, or even overall, like, any type of character. Because she does do a good amount of damage. With her character, what you can do is literally shield herself. And whatever damage you take while being in that shield, you can literally increase the, the loading of your actual ultimate. Which is actually pretty cool. Now for her secondary shot, she does a shot of actual energy, which actually can push a character slightly, but does a nice amount of damage. Now with her character, she's also a support. Now, as you can see, there is my my teammate. He's taking damage from the team, for the opposite team. Hold R1, you put a shield on there. And you can protect them. Now what's cool about her character is just that with her ultimate she could bring people especially on the opposite team together. So with her ultimate when I hit it, it's literally a vortex that does damage and can bring all the enemies together so a DPS or even her can kill them all. So that's really Zarya in somewhat of a you know nutshell as well. Now for the last, oh no she has the last tank. Now let's go straight into the support characters, which is Anna, right here, which is another sniper. But with her sniper, it doesn't do like a certain amount of shots. Her shots are like technically needles that do poisonous damage. So if you can see, 
you can hit a character and then it does a certain amount of damage. Now, for instance, if let's say a character is getting too crazy and you want to stop him or you want to get away, press L1 to put the character to sleep for a certain amount of time until you actually start, you know, doing damage to them. Now, let's say you're hurt from like any type of attack and you're just trying to live. Hold R1 and you can actually heal yourself. And not just yourself, you can also heal your teammates. Now, with her character is also a regular sniper as I tell you. But besides just doing that, she can heal her teammates with the shard. But also when you throw that grenade, you can also do damage to an actual, you know, enemy and stop them from healing. As you can see, the symbol up there stops them from healing. Now, for instance, let's say my friendly bot took damage here. I shoot him with the gun and he does gain health back. So that's what makes her the support that she is. Now, for instance, let's say I want to nano boost him and actually, you know, give him more of an attack output. So let's press triangle and he does more damage and not just more damage with his ultimate He increases the damage and reduces the damage while taking so If you want if you want definitely do it to a Reinhardt or a DPS type character never really do it for a support type character Now let's go on to the next one, which is Lucio now Lucio is actually a pretty cool character as you can see there is a little aura around him that is green that increases the speed of the characters especially when you want to increase their speed to try to get to a certain place he does also a tri burst attack and which is like a little bit shooting from his gun which just shoots like pulse waves I believe he also does have the ability to push back a character all to a certain point which is actually pretty badass now with that he can switch from being a speedster to a healer now let's say i want to go ahead and actually amp up you know my robots to heal i do that and while they're in this aura i can heal them and even if you're not you will get healed they get healed within a certain amount of time. Now, with Lucio's alt, let's go ahead and try to get a couple of kills here. Now, for each hit that lands, he does get a certain amount of actual, you know, damage. But here's a cool thing about Lucio. As a character, he does have ability to walk on walls or ride on, along walls, not climb them, right along he's not like Hanzo where, and Genji where they can actually climb up the building he runs along them now let's go ahead and do his ultimate here which literally literally what it does he does something called I believe the breakdown or or is that what it's called the sound barrier and then when he does that he increases the health of his actual teammates for a certain amount of time to survive longer so that's what makes lucio so much of a good actual um support it does take a lot to play him but once you get used to him he does tend to be a little bit easy now here's mercy mercy is a a very very well well challenging support as a character, he she can switch back and forth from her staff and from her pistol, where she can do a nice amount of damage. Where her staff actually can heal a friendly bot or a friendly character, or increase the actual damage that they can do. Now, let's say you're trying to get to someone and you're so far away, you hold L1 and then she flies to them and then you can increase the damage or healing right there. Now, the cool thing about Mercy is that she is literally a person that can heal to a large um, extent and actually increase the dam damage of her character. But here's one downside to it. When she is the support, she can only maintain support from a certain range, just like every other character. Or just like certain characters like Lucio, 
but she is also one of the characters that are out there that could be killed very quickly unless you play her correctly so what you want to maintain is actually you know keeping together with someone and then maintaining the healing now let's say for instance uh we have two robots here who are doing the damage i say two <coughs> excuse me of our robots die on the in the reticle there will be a counter of how many of our actual teammates die and go to where they died at press triangle and actually revive them right here i cannot do that because due to the fact that you know if there's none of our comrades who are dead so let's go ahead and actually just switch to a new character because i can't do the ultimate because none of the characters have died but when you see a large number that says like three or four and you're right there to a point they will show up as like a type of spirit or type of like a smoking aura and then you can heal them right on the spot the now here is symmetra symmetra is one of the one of the most challenging actual supports as a character she can build turrets she can build up to actually six turrets which do damage to characters for a certain amount of time and with that for, for each that is spread out there you can only maintain six at a certain amount now for instance as a character for her damage she can do a charged ball shot which she can go ahead and shoot a ball of energy but in the process she can literally do a line of damage now the more damage that she maintains to do the higher it increases but you do have a certain amount of ammo her ammo does seem to go out real quick and I got myself a quintuple kill as you can see she also has a shield which is moving so you want to be able to maintain the speed with the shield with any turn type of character now for her ultimate what she can do is when you press triangle she can maintain a teleporter that teleports you from the spawn point to a certain to where she built the teleporter or she can go ahead and build a shield generator which gives more shields to everybody on your team now be careful where you put the shield generators or the teleporters because they are vulnerable to attacks so as a character for San Metro, she is good for defense but if you play her on attack she is a very very challenging character even as a character she can be very challenging now let's go to the final support character which is Zenyatta which is my main which is either Zenyatta or even Anna now for Zenyatta he does have ability to attack where he launches orbs of you know orbs of power to each character and does a substantial amount of damage now with that he could send an orb of discord which can cause a lot of characters to take more damage so he weakens the character with the orb of discord but in the process of being of actual support he could also heal the characters within doing that now with that he, he is just a standard character but he also does have a charge attack now when you hold the button which is the second Mary shot he does shoot at least five orbs at you from with his charge attack which does a lot of damage now for his actual ultimate experience he, this is an aura where he comes around each character and he heals them and they are vulnerable to a certain amount of time so you would want him especially when people are trying to contest a point to heal and with a character he is pretty good he as i said he does have a charge shot for a like a good amount of attacks he does have a actual ability to weaken the enemies and he does actually you know do you know perfectly good healing but as you can see he does a actual substantial amount of damage as well 
But you know, that's really all for all the characters here in the Overwatch tutorial. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not that well of a speaker. I am still learning how to speak, you know, with each character and about each character and even to learn how to speak on a video. I apologize if I'm not really that well. I am still practicing. I will get better in the future. But definitely subscribe to the BO Talk Show. Definitely turn on your notifications when you get new streams and new videos set out. And definitely join us at facebook.com slash group slash brothers of oblivion. Join a positive gaming community where we play games such as Overwatch, Battleborn, Battlefield 1, Call of Duty, and many other games. And definitely give me a follow on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash mmoralesboo. The link is in the description. Definitely give me a follow because I will be playing games such as Overwatch, Battleborn, and many other competitive games on my Twitch. And it's Especially, you know, some some story mill games with other people and you know, just to have some fun, you know? But this is your boy Crazy Maze 98, aka Nicholas Morales, founder of the Brothers of Oblivion Game Community. And if you walk with us, we'll help you walk through the gates of oblivion.